there and welcome. I'm Bob Proctor. You've probably seen me in The Secret. Well, we're going to expand on the message from The Secret. We're going to go beyond that. Do you know, in The Secret, we talked about the law of attraction. There's been two, three hundred million people impacted with that message. But I want to take you a little further. There's 11 lost laws. These 11 laws that go along with the law of attraction, I think you're going to find rather interesting. And I want to share a few thoughts with you that lead up to this. And I want you to prepare for these lessons as they come out. Do you know, the author said that we should proceed to use our thinking faculty and take care that it does not use you. Well, I think that's true. Do you know, most people are controlled by what's going on outside. They're not using their mental faculties to really control their life. The author says, master your mind and guide it intelligently. Well, you know, if you look at the the results of most people, that's not happening. People are not mastering their mind. They're not using it. They're not controlling their own life. As you get involved in these laws, each one of them brings a specific message. And as you bring your mind in harmony with these laws, your whole life is going to change. Let me continue here. He said, learn to think as you ought to think. Give your mental life to the matters that are absolutely essential to your welfare. Have you ever wondered why 1% of our population earns 96% of all the money that's being earned? Do you know, things are so totally out of balance that when you hear those statistics for the first time, you think they can't possibly be true, but they are. And you know, Huxley was right. He said there's only one corner of the universe that we can change, and that's our own self. Now, this author said, the balance of all thought to themes of beauty, truth, and progress. In other words, live with the ideal, but do not neglect the practical. He said, aim to adjust the two and strive to be on the outside of what you idealize on the inside. Your thoughts make you. And your ideals, principles, or ruling desires will determine your destiny. Now, I have studied this material since 1961. October 1961 is when I really began to study this. So naturally, I've watched a lot of things change. I've watched things change in the world. I've watched the attitude of people shift. And it shifts primarily because we're starting to understand ourselves better. We have here learned to use your powers unless you wish to be used by them. Make a daily effort to use the knowledge that you have gained. Try to improve upon all of your opinions. Endeavor to obtain a truer and a larger conception of each of your personal views. Now, I have found, as we start to understand this, and as we start to dig into these laws, that everything in our life starts to shift. Do you know what the laws are? Think about it for a moment. Did you really understand the law of attraction before you saw the secret? Do you know, a lot of people saw the secret and they thought that the law of attraction just came into being. That's like hearing about the law of gravity and think we just invented it yesterday. The law of attraction's always been here. It's based on another great law, the law of vibration. Well, you're going to find, as we get into these seven laws, I'm going to give you a short overview on each one of them. And if you take the videos that you're going to get, And then take each one of them and watch one every day for a week. Now, it may take you a few weeks to go through this. But let's face it, you've gone all your life without understanding and another few weeks dedicated to understanding it is going to make a huge difference. This is a phenomenal program that you're a part of. I am so pleased that I have the opportunity to dig into these laws in some depth and share them with you. You know, the the author points out that man's problems are mental in nature. They have no existence outside of themselves. And it has been discovered that nearly all will yield up their solutions when subjected to a broad and exact analysis. You can acquire the ability by studying the law of life. You know, I mentioned on The Secret where Dr. Warner Von Braun said that the natural laws of this universe are so precise that we don't have any difficulty sending people to the moon, and we can time the landing with the precision of a fraction of a second. Now, isn't it strange that you would go all through life and never really understand these laws, and yet these laws are impacting every aspect of your life, 
from your relationships to the health of your body, to your business, to your personal skills. Everything is based on law. When we violate the law, we lose. When we live in harmony with the law, we start to win. Now he said you can acquire the ability by studying the law of life and the modes of expression. Then by constant effort, use your thinking faculty in constructive ways as you work with these laws. Now have a good and sound reason for all the views you hold. Isn't that an interesting concept? Think of that for a moment. You'll hear people say, well, I believe that. In fact, you hear yourself saying it. Why do you believe it? Have you ever really analyzed your own belief patterns? Why do you believe these things? As you try to find why you hold these views, many of your old-time views are going to fall to pieces. Form a clear and definite idea regarding your convictions as to why as you do as you do, and to why as you think as you think. You see, most people never really ask themselves, why do I believe that? Do you know almost all your beliefs you've inherited? Well, it's true. Dates way back into your genetic nature. From the moment of conception, your ancestors are built right into the genes. And we've got a lot of ideas locked up in our mind that violate the laws of this universe, and that's what's causing our problem. See, it's no accident that a very small select group of people live really meaningful lives, and so many others are struggling all the way through their life. Well, you're going to find, as you get involved in this program, and I would encourage you to really take this serious. This is serious work. It's helped me earn millions of dollars, build a company that operates all over the world, make really meaningful friends on every continent. If it's done that for me, what can it do for you? Now, keep in mind, when I started to study this, I only had about two months high school. I had no business experience, and my whole life changed like that. There's so much good stuff here. This author says, clear and exact thinking is a very great necessity. It is, in fact, a sure means to advancement on the mental as well as the spiritual plane. Now, I'm going to leave you with something here that I think is very important. A line of distinction, however, should be drawn between mere surface thought, that is, ordinary, trivial, and commonplace thinking, and real thought, which is associated with the understanding of these laws, with the understanding of truth. The latter is deep thinking, which arouses dormant powers, quickens the perception, and leads to the enlargement of life on all planes. You see, most people's thinking takes them to last night's ball game, maybe the weather, or who won the election. What we're talking about is deep, penetrating thought. Really dig into our mind. Let's figure out how we can take quantum leaps, just jumps ahead, rather than small, incremental changes. Let's find out how we can turn our annual income to a monthly income like that, because you can do it. If I do it, you can do it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. And I'm going to take you into each one of the other 11 laws. And I will, in fact, elaborate on the law of attraction. Because when you really understand that law, everything in your life is going to start to shift. See, the truth, the real basic truth, is everything that comes into our life, we've attracted. We're literally magnetized to it. Do you know that your brain is an electronic switching station? It controls the vibratory rate of this massive energy that we call our body. I'm not my body. I'm not my brain. You're not your body. You're not your brain. But you do have a brain. We have a marvelous mind. And we can control the vibration we're in. And when we do, we start to control what comes into our life. You're going to love these laws. And you're going to want to share them. And you should share them. Givers gain. I want you to get them. I want you to study them. Get involved in this program and then set the side of time to really study it. Don't treat this as just any recorded program. This is very special. Since October 1961, I have been absolutely obsessed with studying one subject, why you do what you do and why you don't do many of the things you want to do. I want you to think of what you really want to do. What do you want to do with the rest of your life? Do you know if you go to my website, I tell you I'm there. If you tell me what you want, I can show you how to get it. And I can. But you've got to decide what you want. And then 
you want to get into these lessons. 11 laws. It's phenomenal. And the 12th, I'm going to elaborate on it for you. Make sure you get involved. Set aside the time, and you're going to love it. The videos that you're going to receive here will change your life. Along with the rest of the program, life will never be the same again. This is Bob Proctor, and thank you. And I look forward to meeting you in a seminar sometime in the very near future.